this bowl of yummy goodness you see is called catfish soup it is really easy to cook and it also combines well with other foods i'll tell you about that later welcome to our channel please subscribe and follow for more recipes thank you so these are the ingredients tomatoes onions scotch bonnet pepper cayenne pepper bell pepper crayfish powder seasoning cube salt alum this is the catfish and some vegetable oil so I'm going to wash in this catfish to remove the slime and to do that I'll be using a big bowl lots of water and alum so I removed the washing part in order to be fast but if you would like me to upload how I wash catfish please leave a comment now I'll boil some water and um, here is the washed catfish I'm adding some salt to it after it I'll add the boiled water to the catfish the reason for this is to remove any slime residue or any fish blood that might still be hiding somewhere so I'll cover it and set it aside and start cooking now I'll pour vegetable oil in my pot and allow it heat up briefly now that the vegetable oil is hot I'm adding my sliced onions so um, I showed you three onions earlier I chopped one and blended the remaining two with the tomatoes and peppers now I'll add the blended tomatoes onions and peppers to the oil I'll be putting my crayfish powder seasoning cube some salt I'll mix it, I'll stir it and allow it to cook for 20 to 25 minutes or till the oil floats. So let's go back to the catfish we set aside. So it's been set aside for about 10 minutes and it's time to remove the catfish from the hot water. So I'll be taking out the catfish with my spoon and putting it into a basket to drain um, any water that might be attached to it. After draining, I'm going to set it aside, but let's quickly check what we're cooking. So, as you can see, the oil is already floating, and this means that the soup is ready for the catfish. So now I'll be putting my catfish in the soup. So remember the catfish is already pre-cooked in hot water, so I don't need to cook it for too long so that it does not scatter in the soup. And for this, I'll be cooking for five to seven minutes. Ooh, after seven minutes, soup is ready. <laughs> in case you don't know, like I said earlier, this soup is very versatile in terms of food combination. Like, it literally goes with almost anything. You can eat it with rice, spaghetti, yam, boiled potatoes, you can also combine it with a furry roll, a poile goosey, okra, a redu, ogbono, and lots more. You can combine it with these other soups to eat swallow. I know it's possible I missed some other soups, so please let me know in the comment section. Let's know what you enjoy. So this is what it looks like, and I have to say thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.